Hey everyone, welcome back to Carrots and Olives. My name is Brittany and today we are going to be going through day 18 in 30 inks, 30 days. But before we start that, let's recap the last seven days. So day eight, we had Wearing Gold Myths from Around the World, Enki. It's this beautiful blue color. Then we went a little bold and had Wearing Gold William Shakespeare, Romeo. A little bit outside of my comfort zone was Robert Oster, Lost Dutchman in gold. Then some prettiness happening was the Waringal Medea Bel Beliar. That was day 11. And going bold once again, something a little bit more comforting was the Waringal Wonderful Wizard of Oz, Wicked Witch for day 12. Day 13, we had Wearing Gold Monthly Literature Series Robinson Crusoe, by far one of my favorite colors. Then we had Robert Oster Sedona Red, which is actually a really pretty, pretty color. So those were the last seven days of 30 days, 30 inks, 30 days, and I hope you've been following me along. If you haven't, please check out those last videos. Now on to this current week. Let's take a quick look at day 14. And this was with the Robert Oster Sedona red. And it's actually a really pretty, like a little bit muted of a red. It's not very bright. And um, that's more part of my comfort zone. Um, and I actually really enjoyed using this color. It was in my Platinum 3776 Celluloid in Sakura which is not next to me at the moment. But if you wanted to see what that looked like, please check out the video for day 14. Um, but I really enjoyed it and I just really journaled about my day. Okay, so we are in day 15. I completely forgot to ink up my notebook. It is a rainy day right now. I had hours this morning to film and I chose to wait until it got overcast and super rainy. So I procrastinated, but we're getting it done. So the light I'm using is office light or lighting for my office. So I've started to put my pens sitting in here just because I know I'm going to be running out of ink soon. I do have a nice, wonderful benefactor who is going to be sending me some inks from her collection um, to add to my 30 inks, 30 days to kind of fill the rest of the days off. Um, but until then, these are the remaining that I have left I need to use. And I think I'm going to go with do, do, do. Let's let's go with I don't know this color. Okay, Van Diemen's Pen Shell Exclusive Painted Desert, and the pen I picked today is the Sailor. We're gonna start working, uh, pulling some of my Sailor pens. This is the Autumn Sky, and what I like the most about this pen in particular, even though I'm not a fan of like red, um, is that it's not quite red. It's a muted red orange, I guess right now in the lighting, kind of looks a little bit like a dark, dark, dark pink red. But um, I also like the belly band here where some of the sailors have the color go all the way to this curved part of the band but in this pen it's the metal hardware that actually curves down which for me I don't have many pens that have this metal hardware and then plus it's gold and it just pops on this color okay enough about the pen let's get into this ink and 
some sailor pens do not always come with a converter, which is quite annoying and frustrating. So I don't have a converter for each of my sailor pens. And as I was pulling this pen out, I realized I need to get some converters, some extra converters. Okay. This is really, really wet. So I'm gonna wipe it off. I'm going to cap this. And let's see, let it sit for just a minute. Get my little Kakimori rest here. And then I have a syringe and I'm going to get the cap. Just suck up some of that ink so that I could do splatters. Then I have my Q-tip and kind of test out the color. Ooh, that's really pretty. Okay, I have my card with the houses. And I did get a question about whether or not I knew who else sold these cards. I do not. But if any of you happen to have another seller um, outside of Yoseka who, will, who does sell these cards, please post it in the comments. They're uh, right currently, they're out at Yoseka. They're out of stock and some people are looking for them. I would also like to get me another set because these are just really fun to work with. So this is a very pretty color. I'm gonna let it dry. Okay, so I have my water brush. I really messed up on writing day 15. Ooh, I could see the halo of green sheen come out. Is it really that dry? I just need to re-wet. Hmm. So it seems like this ink is a little bit dry. Goodness, I can't even stay in the lines. Okay. On to my writing sample. Thirty inks, thirty days. And September. My pen is Sailor Pro Gear. This is actually in a broad. The ink, Van Diemen. Pen Shelley. Exclusive. Painted Desert. All 
All right, let's take a look at how it is on Aerofoot paper. Can you see that green halo? It's like a sheen and it looks really cool. Let me zoom a little bit closer. Oops, desert. I put two S's on the top. All right. So the sheen is showing in the downstrokes where it gets really dark for the shading. I think that's so cool. This is gonna be fun. So let's move this off to the side and then look at the monthly in my Hobonichi Techo A6. Into desert, desert. All right, so you may be able to see the green. Maybe. Hmm. So this completes day fifteen. Here is the swatch card up close and really pretty. And you can kind of see some of the green sheen in places where there's extra pooling of the ink. But if you have any questions, please feel free to post them in the comments. Oh, and the splatters definitely show the ink. So let me give you a close up of that. Look at that green sheen come through. So cool. All right, I will catch you in the next video. I hope you guys have a good day. Bye.